people do this? How do blog vloggers do this? Green. There. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Today on Fashion Friday, we are doing a little DIY tie-dye. And today's theme, because it is the NFL draft, we're gonna do some Seahawk colors. As you can see, very good old Seahawks poncho, which I got from Funko, I think. I saw it on Hard Knocks and some of the Oakland Raiders were wearing them to a team meeting. I think one of them was Luke Wilson. And I was like, where do I get one of those ponchos? Lo and behold, it popped up on one of my Instagram ads. Thank you for always following me, listening to what I'm doing. And then I got one. So today we're going to do a Seahawk theme color crew neck and we're making it for grandma. And then we're also going to do a set with a calm purple. I like to call it cotton perp. As you can see, I got my little husky puppy up on top because I know a few UW guys who are in the draft this year and I'm super excited for them. So hopefully we're sending them good luck, positive energy, all the good juju because you guys work super hard and I'm super proud of all of you guys. And yeah, let's tie dye. So the dyes that I'd like to use are Tulip brand. I had to buy some little ones. So as focus, focus. There we go. And they come in these little ones, which I wish they were a little bit bigger, but I also bought a bigger pack before the quarantine happened. There's a really big difference between the sizes. These ones came in a pack of six. So we're gonna go purple for the soft perp. So I did use this earlier for a shirt for my sister. I did Lesky color shirt. And so I filled it up a little bit more to make the purple a little bit softer. And then we are also going to use green. How do people do this? There. So we're gonna use green, and then also there's a little blue bottle. So we'll use green and blue for this one. Okay, but first, we must band the clothes. So first let's band the sock. I got two Nike socks. I'm going to scrunch them. But what I like to do when I scrunch them, just kind of bunch it up wherever you feel for the socks. Honestly, it doesn't even really matter. And then you just tie them a couple times maybe. I like to tie it one more time. Let's tie it this way. And bam, you have a sock. And then we'll just do it to the other side too. Next, the shorts. Same method. I like to start in the top corner, but I like to start like at the waist and then I just crinkle. And there are your shorts. Now we'll go into the crew neck. And I'll start here and just start crinkling, crinkling, crinkling. So there is your shirt. We got one more shirt to do. Once you tie them all up as best as you can, we're gonna start with the purple since it's all one color and it's gonna be a little bit easier. Make sure you use gloves because the dye will stay in your hand. I've also found that using these little party platters has helped kind of contain the ink and kind of help you save money on garbage bags or paper towels or whatever you use. So what I'm gonna do is just completely dye all of it. The socks I don't like to dye too much because it will soak in a lot of the places so I'll go a little bit lighter on the socks and I'll just soak everything else up and then we'll let it sit. Make sure you pre-wash all your clothes. Pretty sure I did everything. I'm not really sure about one of the sweatshirts but we'll find out. All right, here we go. We're just gonna dye everything. Just about done with this bad boy. Done, and that is all we have. We'll let everything sit in here and I'll cover it with plastic wrap overnight. Cool, and that's the purple. The next set we're gonna do is Grandma Seahawk shirt. Since we're using two colors, I'm just going to dye different portions, different colors. I don't really want them to blend together. I want them to kind of be separate, so. Looking at this is the top and then this is the bottom. These are the sleeves. 
Let's start with green sections. We'll go lighter color first and then we'll go darker color second. Just make sure you shake them up really good. All right, I'm scared. Okay, let's do this. All right, and there it is. We'll see how this turns out. And like magic, it is the next day. So I upgraded my gloves. <laughs> okay, let's unband the socks first. I'm excited. This is like the most exciting part of the tie-dye is revealing what everything looks like. Ooh, here are the socks. Look kind of cool. So cute. Yes, I love it. Unband the spandex shorts next. I love it. So cute. So cute. Now the sweatshirt. Not really. Sh I thought I smelled like grape for a minute. How <laughs> many bands, Alex? Bands to make good dance. Bands to make good dance. Hey, hey. Ooh. Oh my god, Yay. I love it. This is what it looks like pre-washed. So I'm gonna rinse it, wash it in the washer and dryer, and then I'll show you guys the final product. Time to reveal grandma's sweatshirt. We did a Seahawk color, the blue and green. I'm a little nervous about how this turned out. Oh, okay. The sleeve looks dope. Well, that looks literally just all green. <laughs> Whoopsies. Dude, I need to control my dye output because it's literally all green. Okay, that's cuter. This is so cute. O M G Z. This is what we got. All green in the front, a little bit of blue on the sleeve. The back looks way better. I wish the back was the front, but the sleeves are dope. So this is one sleeve, and then you got your freaking green sleeve. Whatever, let's wash this and then see how it turns out. Yeah. All right, so here's the final product. We got the crew neck. Turned out really nice. Biker shorts, super cute. These socks, love it. Very, very, very happy with the cotton perp. Grandma's sweatshirt. It's a little green in the front. Here it is. Back is dope though. I also bought a little Seahawk um, patch, so I'm gonna sew it on here for her. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. It was DIY Fashion Friday. See you later.